Hi everyone, welcome to Lipstick on a Rig. Today we're gonna to be making this checkered beanie. For this project, I'm gonna be using two different strands of size four medium weight acrylic yarn. And you can always divide a skein in half or these can be two different colors, it's up to you. I'm also gonna be using a size K or 10 and a half crochet hook. And we're gonna begin this by tying a magic circle and we're gonna place 12 double crochets inside of it. And if you're unfamiliar with any of the stitches used in this pattern, then please check the links in the description because I'm gonna have my stitch tutorials listed down there. And once you have the 12 double crochets in place, then what you're gonna do is just place a slip stitch in the top of that first double crochet stitch. And from here, we're gonna chain three. And for this row, we're gonna place two double crochets in each stitch in our row. So go ahead and add a double crochet to that same stitch that you just slip stitched into, that first stitch from your previous row. And then from here, you're just gonna place two double crochets in each stitch in your row. And when you get to the end of your row, you should have 24 stitches. And when you get to the end of your row, you're just gonna place a slip stitch in the top of that chain three stitch. And then we're gonna chain three again. So from here, the pattern is gonna to be to place one double crochet in the first stitch and then two double crochets in your second stitch. And you're just gonna follow that pattern alternating between one and two double crochets going all the way around your row. And when you get done, you should have 36 stitches. And this chain three is gonna count as your first stitch. And at the end of that row, I just went ahead and slip stitched into the top of my chain three stitch and then I chain three again. So the pattern for this row is gonna to be to place one double crochet in the first two stitches and then to place two double crochets in our third stitch. And we're just gonna repeat that going all the way around the row. And when we get done, we should have 48 stitches. And when you get to the end of your row, you're just gonna place a slip stitch into the top of your chain three stitch and chain three again. And that was our last row of increasing. And so from here, we're just gonna place one double crochet in each stitch in our row. So we should have a total of 48 stitches when we get done, and that includes the chain three stitch here. And when you get to the end of your row, you're just gonna place a slip stitch in the top of that chain three stitch. And so from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place one front post stitch in our first three stitches here. So in case you're unfamiliar with how to place that stitch, I'm gonna show you. So go ahead and yarn over and then insert your crochet hook around the post here. So I went from the front around to the back and then back around to the front again. Then you're gonna yarn over and pull through that post, yarn over and drop two loops and then yarn over and drop two more loops. So now go ahead and place one front post stitch in your next two stitches so that you have a total of three front post stitches. And once you have your three front post stitches in place, then we're gonna place three back post stitches. So go ahead and yarn over and then insert your crochet hook from the back around the front and then back around to the back again. Then yarn over and drop your post, yarn over and drop two loops and then yarn over and drop two more. So go ahead and repeat that for the next two stitches so that you have a total of three back post stitches. And then from here, your pattern is just gonna be to alternate between front and back post stitches every three stitches. So next, you're gonna place three front post stitches and then three back post stitches. So go ahead and follow that pattern going all the way around your row. And when you get to the end of your row, you're just gonna place a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch. And then from here, you're just gonna repeat like patterns. So in every stitch where you had a front post stitch, you're gonna place another front post stitch. And in every stitch with a back post stitch, you're now gonna also place a back post stitch. So go ahead and repeat that going all the way around your row following like stitches. And when you get to the end of your row, you're just gonna place a slip stitch in the top of that first stitch just like before. And for this row, we are gonna reverse the pattern. So in every stitch where you placed a front post stitch, you will now place a back post stitch. And in every stitch where you had a back post stitch, you will now place a front post stitch. So go ahead and follow that pattern going all the way around your row. And when you get to the end of your row, you're just gonna place a slip stitch in the top of that first stitch. And so from here, you're just gonna follow like stitches for the next two rows. And once you get done, it should look like this. 
So now all we're gonna do is repeat this last cycle one more time. So in every back post stitch, you will now place a front post stitch, and in every front post stitch, you will now place a back post stitch, and then you will repeat two rows of like stitches. And once you're done repeating that cycle, it should look like this. So go ahead and slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, just like before. And starting from here, we're just gonna place one single crochet in each stitch in our row. And this is gonna be a continuous loop pattern, which means we won't be starting and stopping each individual row, but of course you're always welcome to chain one and then place one single crochet in each stitch in the row and then slip stitch into the top of that chain one stitch. But either way, we're gonna be crocheting single crochets for multiple rows. So whether you wanna do a continuous loop pattern or you wanna end and start each row is totally up to you. So I went ahead and placed four rows of placing one single crochet in each stitch in my row. So now all we're gonna do is place one slip stitch in our next 10 stitches. And once you have your 10 slip stitches in place, then you're just gonna cut and tie off your yarn. And I like to weave my tail in the direction that I was crocheting for a few stitches and then turn it up toward the inside of the beanie. And I will link in the description to my DIY pom-pom maker. And please let me know in the comments below if you experienced any issues while you were making this and I will do my best to help you out. 